Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of my vlog. So my name is Paul Dominic Galvez and today I have decided to make a video regarding uh, my tarot readings. So if you would like to know what may happen or what might happen on the first quarter of this year of 2021, so you know, keep on watching. Pero segue, I really like the lighting right now. It's really nice and I just had my sunblock and my CC cream and that's it. And, and I just put some brows. Know, just to make myself a little bit more you know presentable for this vlog so if you're new in this kind of reading so I'll be uh, letting you choose from the four piles that I'll be making and then I would be providing timestamps wherein you can just go there and just read the chosen um, pile of deck that you would like to choose or you would be able to choose and from that you can just listen to the to the to my interpretation of what my what might or what may happen on the on the on the first quarter of this year. So here are the four piles that you can choose uh, if you're new to this one. So you can um, relax first, do some breathing exercises, well, vocalization. You know. So anyhow, so do some deep breathing. So I would say like three deep breaths. And after that, you can pause first and, you know, just think about, you know, what may happen or what are your plans for the first quarter of this year. And if you're ready, you can choose from any of these four piles of this deck. So for deck number one, so here are your cards. So first is... um. So the cards are suggesting that you're, there's a current um, perfectionist part of you that you would like to achieve. So um, are there any projects that you're thinking about? Are there any plans or goals that you would like to work upon? So unfortunately, there is there's another side of perfectionism, which is the burnout part of it. So um, I hope you can you know pace yourself um, regarding your plans if you would like to, you know, um, uh, have a rest I would say or self-care this is very um, essential especially if you would like to manifest something within the first three months of this year then King of Cups and Queen of Swords so uh, what you are feeling at the moment is King of, King of Cups I'm not sure if you are quite emotional recently or you're trying to listen more or let's say I'm um, trying to observe more when it comes to your environment or people tend to you know go to you when it comes to insight so this is a, a nice card if you are into the leader leadership <laughs> if you are into the leadership um, uh, side of things uh, this is actually a good sign if this is for love I would say people actually go uh, go and how do you call this like to be within your uh, how do you call this um, vicinity am I correct or they want you in their um, circle of friends thoughts when it comes to this so if this is work related or career related so the queen of swords is a it's a sign that you are very logical you would like to um, become very um, decisive when it comes to your decisions unfortunately there's another part of the queen of swords which is which is the resting bitch face so um, I for one uh, I do have this one especially for people who doesn't know me or doesn't know the queen of swords they tend to assume that she is or this person is someone very arrogant or you know, um, strict or something like that but unfortunately it's just your defense mechanism when it comes to things that you are uh, unaware of or let's say it's just a defense mechanism when you're you are stressed or you're, when you're thinking so it's a byproduct that you need to understand that it's okay so um, if you are this person um, you know you, you can just prove them wrong when they know you or you know acceptance is the best um, thing here when it comes to this card last but not the least oh wow ace of cups or if you're in a relationship the relationship would blossom more you know it, uh, there would be a lot of um, let's say uh, experiences that you would have when it comes to the first uh, quarter of this month when it comes to your partner or if this is career uh, you're starting to fall in love when it comes to a certain part of your work or you're starting to discover something that you are you know somehow falling in love with this um, idea 
So to recap your first quarter of this year, um, be careful when it comes to um, being perfectionist. I would really use the 80-20 um, theory wherein you just aim for the 80% of it and you know if you can uh, excel at the 80% of your tasks then that is enough so that you know you could prevent yourself from you know um, being burned out people really admire you people uh, look up to you people want you oh wow big word so um, keep this up as well um, uh, continue to being you continue being uh, a listener and observer that you are uh, when it comes to your decisions you know uh, being decisive is one of the key factors for this girl or for this card so yeah and then yeah it's just just a downside of it which is the resting bitch face but you know everything else you know would just align and last but not the least is for the first quarter of this year you would be falling in love with someone possible or you would be falling in love with a certain thing that you really like to do you know you find flow in doing this so yeah, that's your first quarter of this year. So there you have it. I hope I was able to help you or give you some insights of what may happen within the first quarter of this year. So um, hopefully I can make another um, video on the second, third, and fourth quarter of this year. So um, if you would like to know more about what may happen, so you know, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So it's Paul Dominic Galvez. And you can follow me on my social media accounts, which would be the following. So there you have it guys, uh, hope to see you soon and have a nice day. Now for the people or for those of you who chose the second pile, so here are your cards. Okay, so we have the death card, so don't be scared. So the death card is not a, how do you call this, a sign for physical death. It's just a death or a change when it comes to your current situation. Do you feel that your certain situation is somehow stagnant or you don't know what to do or you're still um, caught up from the recent uh, or from the issues from 2020? So the death card is actually an auspicious card wherein you know there's a possibility of change or transformation that may happen within the next few months or within the first quarter of this year. So, but unfortunately, there are parts wherein you would be surprised that it will suddenly happen. Sometimes, you know, um, wishes uh, do come true, but sometimes they don't um, manifest the emotions or, or, let's say, the ideas that we have in our imaginations in real life. So just be um, aware about that idea that sometimes wishes, even though we have prayed for it, sometimes doesn't feel how it felt when we were praying or imagining it. So that's one thing that the death card would like to you know to share with you feelings towards the first quarter of the year is the seven of cups as you can see there's a lot of choices at the moment so um choices tend to paralyze especially if there are a lot so um, i would highly recommend if you could just choose from be between one or two categories categories and then just uh, discard the rest i think that would be a good way for you to choose um, at the end of it, you know, there are no right and wrong choice choices, you know, on, it's just on how we deal things um, in life. So if you're too perfectionist about this, um, it's up to you. But if I were you, if you were able to research or let's say um, gather all the information that you have, try to rule out your top two, well, top six, okay, until top three, um, how do you call this? Uh, choices that you would like to choose or, you know, part you would like to take here is your thoughts is actually um regarding your previous cards the 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 first quarter of the year is suggesting that there would be victory or let's say let's say bring home the bacon kind of thing so there is um, a manifestation that will happen that you were praying for from the past year whether it's in relationship or whether it's in your career of finances it will be granted so i think it's it's in line with the death card so hopefully it will happen in a positive way so that's one thing that i would like uh to, to i would like you to experience in the first part of this year but there is just a, a little bit of uncertainty which is you know everyone i think um experience or experiences uncertainty especially in this uh time but the moon is suggesting that there is a little bit of confusion or let's say, um, uh, how do you call this? Uh, you tend to see things in another light. Like, for example, there's a saying, right, that 
our visions tend to you know somehow deteriorate is it term or doesn't you know work as much as it does when it's the daytime so um for me um the first month for you or for the first quarter i believe is um you need to try to reassess your your dreams or let's say your your wishes because some or so let's just say most of them will start to manifest within the first quarter of the year and forward so the thing here is there are things that you are the things that you need to be prepared prepared for which are the emotions that are attached to the manifestations it may happen but sometimes it doesn't align to our feelings which is you know it's it's the how do you call it it's the downside of uh, dreams or wishes that do come true so i want you to be prepared with, when it comes to those um and then be observant as well if there are things that didn't happen but it felt good or things you know um was okay even though it didn't happen so that is let's say the recap of your first um quarter of this year so there you have it i hope i was able to help you or give you some insights of what may happen within the first quarter of this year so um hopefully i can make another um, video on the second third and fourth quarter of this year so um if you would like to know more about what may happen so you know feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel so it's paul dominic galvez and you can follow me on my social media accounts which would be the following so there you have it guys i uh, hope to see you soon and have a nice day now for the third pile here you go okay so six of swords as you can see there is a certain a movement that is happening from your present state to another you know to another state so um are you feeling that you're stagnant at the moment or you feel that you are about to move or let's say there's a trap there's a there's this is actually travel or moving from one place to another so maybe there would be a shift when it comes to your career you might be going somewhere you might be going home any of those so this card is actually a a sign of movement However, it also means that there is something that you would be resolving in the next few days. So from, as you can see, the chartered waters over here, you are heading towards the calm and, um, how do you call this, quiet uh, situation wherein uh, everything would be, you know, settled down, hopefully, and everything would cool down. Feelings is the page of cups. So at the moment, you are quite... Um, let's say reactive when it comes to your cert your current situation you tend to think a lot you tend to feel a lot of emotions and sometimes act on impulse so the page of cups is a sign of us that we need to you know reassess our impulses our reactive brain when it comes to uh, addressing certain issues in our lives so for example us a certain person doesn't like us when it comes to um our love life and then we act a certain way and then we just tend to forget that maybe we they are just not into us and it doesn't mean that we are a horrible person and then we act out from that you know immaturity or let's say that impulse of the reacting brain so the page of cups is a good sign for us that you know we need to reassess um, our emotions is it you know is it real I mean or is it just our emotions that's you know messing up with our mind Next is thought, is the high priestess. Wow, my, my card. So the high priestess is a sign of um, intuition, intelligence, wisdom, and secrets. So the thoughts here is um, there would be a higher intelligence that would come in wisdom, whether it would come from another person that you know, or it would come to you when you are just, you know, maybe you are in the toilet doing stuff, or, you know, while you're sleeping, you might dream about it. So there would be an answer to your question that has been, you know, lingering in your head. Maybe it's a decision. I'm not sure um, whether it's a what if from the past. So there would be a, re a resolution and um, I would say there would be a, uh, how do you call this? Uh, closure or cl uh, everything would be, yeah, there would be a closure that might happen in the next few months when it comes to this first quarter of this year and last but not the least is the wheel of fortune so everything would be on your favor so as i would always say as long as luck is here try to do everything try to save up try to you know love more 
and try to you know do all of the things that you would like to do while luck is still here because you know once it goes away um, it would be hard for us to it would be challenging for us to find it again so just to recap for your first part of this year so there would be um, movement when it comes to your place or whether it's in work then there is the page of cups is the emotional part of you um, you know if you have a close friend that you could you know vent that would be awesome as well the, you know mental health is must be a priority as, especially in this time high priestess is there would be a, you know a certain point in your life right now that would be would that would have closure maybe it's from the past you know it may come for another person or it may come to you via you know dreams or via you know just doing random stuff and last but not the least is Wheel of Fortune. So the first part of this year is quite um, auspicious or I would say um, lucky for you. Hopefully everything would align when it comes to your job, to your love life, and to whatever you are doing. So there you have it. I hope I was able to help you or give you some insights of what may happen within the first quarter of this year. So um, hopefully I can make another um, video on the second, third, and fourth quarter of this year. So. Um, if you would like to know more about what may happen, so you know, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So it's Paul Dominic Galvez, and you can follow me on my social media accounts, which would be the following. So there you have it, guys. I uh, hope to see you soon, and have a nice day. And last but not the least is for pile number four. So the first card over here is the four. Of sorts mm. as you can see a rest is needed I know you are resting right now maybe because um, of the work from home situation you have a lot of time to think but resting on a certain idea or let's say um, issue that you had maybe it's a childhood issue that you know somehow was rekindled because of uh, an activity or because there's no activity that is happening right now you tend to think a lot or whether you are triggered by a certain emotion uh, or by a certain person. So there are a lot of things that are going into your head. So the swords are actually indicators of our mental health or not just mental health, just the just the mind to be in mind in general. So the four of swords is an indicator that we need to somehow um, arrest the idea because to be honest, the thoughts are just bubbling up. It's a conscious uh, decision for the individual to dwell on it and to engage on it on a very long time. So how can we uh, address this or rest this? Uh, whether you can, you can choose with a lot of things, you can go find a therapist, a counselor, a journal can do, or just find a friend, a close friend that would listen to you um, in a non-reactive way and you know try to um, organize your thoughts and you know somehow mirror you what you are you know dealing feelings towards this or you, it somehow it aligns so judgment is maybe from someone from the past or a certain um, experience from the past might or may um, manifest in, in the in this first part of this year or maybe it's you know happening already so remember past experiences must not you know um dictate our future but it may help us when it comes to giving us pointers of what may happen or what might not work so just use it as a pointer and work upon it and you know you need to be consciously engaged when it comes to your decisions in the next few months so you cannot just say like uh, I don't have any choice because you know at the end of it we always have a choice and if ever the choice is hard it's still our choice to you know to follow through and you know to accept the things that are you know the accountability of one person when it comes to a certain um, choice so yeah the judgment is there thoughts about this is the eight of uh, ones so uh, I'm not sure what you're what is happening right now with you um, but the thing here is there's a lot of um, how do you call this Be, do you are you worried or are there any um, worries when it comes to your uh, career or let's say when it comes to your um, let's say foundations that you have built or let's say um, passion related ideas that it's you know starting to worry you that much so to be honest I know um, it's I, I, I think it's the hedonic treadmill that they say they say 
So I just want to give you a um, uh, how do you call this a heads up or a headspace. I hope this will help you. But you have um, attained a lot of stuff already. So as you can see over here, the Eight of Wands has a lot of manifestations in his or her life. Unfortunately, because of this, our mind tends to you know to start wondering that. Is this, you know, um, would this be enough? Could I still manifest more? You know, the greed sometimes of of the idea, especially when you tend to manifest a lot, tends to eat us up. So once again, um, I want you to, you know, check on yourself again, like what the Four of Swords are saying. So um, sometimes having a, a person or a partner or someone who could listen to you may help you when it comes to this anxiety. Or, you know, sometimes listening to other people may help as well and then see that, you know, you can compare your situation to them and learn from their experiences as well that, you know, as I would always say, this is a collective experience that everyone and everyone would experience or may have experienced this. So, yeah. And last but not the least is, oh, see, it's the seven of uh, pentacles. As you can see here, it's hard work, it's perfectionism. Is it a term? So, yeah, especially when it comes to work, um, you would, you know, um, do a lot of things in your career. And, yeah, so I think these are all um, uh, thought-related uh, issues. So if you could, you know, ask someone or if you could find someone that, you know, could listen to you, that would be awesome. So there you have it. I hope I was able to help you or give you some insights of what may happen within the first quarter of this year. So um, hopefully I can make another um, video on the second, third, and fourth quarter of this year. So um, if you would like to know more about what may happen, so you know, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So it's Paul Dominic Galvez. And you can follow me on my social media accounts, which would be the following. So there you have it, guys. I uh, hope to see you soon and have a nice day.